In this video, I am going to upload an ISO using Zen Orchestra. Welcome to Home Tiny Lab. My name is Christoph, and on my channel, I am doing a series about how, what you can do with your home lab, even with uh, not a lot of resources. I am covering XCPNG, Zen Orchestra, Trunos Core. What are we going to do in this video? We are going to locate an ISO that we want to upload to our ISO storage resource in XCPNG. And we are going to see how you can do this typically in Xen Orchestra. Uh, if you want to know more about my XCPNG tutorials, I have a playlist uh, made on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in XCPNG and Xen Orchestra. The first thing that I'm going to do is to download the ISO. Um, I'm going to do some testing with uh, Rocky Linux and I am going to download Rocky 9 Linux and I'm going to download the minimum uh, ISO and I'm going to download this for my x86-64 uh, platform. Click on minimum, minimal and it will download the Rocky ISO. Uh, let's eliminate one. One is enough. Uh, once the file is downloaded, we can already go to Xen Orchestra. And uh, typically, when you want to upload an ISO, normally you have a share on a, on a storage server. In my case, it's a Trunos Core server. And I'm sharing an SMB for my XCPNG host. So if we have a look at my host and you look at storages, you will see that there is one special storage and that's the virtual machine ISO or that I've called it and it's of type ISO. Uh, if you want to know more about this, I have made an old video uh, where I speak about storage resources used in XAPNG. So if you're interested in this, go have a look at that. And normally when you have a, a, a workstation, you would make a connection to your uh, share on your storage server like this. And there you would uh, then open your virtual machine ISO share. And then you would drop your ISOs in that chair. But this means that you would have to uh, manage users on the chair also. But now it's possible to upload your ISO from Xen Orchestra. So you don't need to do uh, management on your Truna score for multiple users. Because once they have the, an account on your Xen Orchestra with the privileges that go with it, they can upload from there their ISOs. To do this, typically you go to Import and you select Disk. And then you select your Pool where your XCPNG host is part of. And then there you will find the resources where you can import disks to. Now you can see there, you have to need a recent or one of the latest Xen Orchestra uh, compilations to have this option. If you click, to, click on this, then you will have the possibility you can drop your uh, ISOs into there or you can click on this and then it will open your file explorer. Uh, in my case I'm going to download and there we can see that the file is there. But let's check if the download is finished. So if we click, let's cancel this for the moment and we click on the download button. So we see that it's finished downloading. So if we want now to drop the ISO in here, so you can simply click in this. I'm going to my downloads, selecting the ISO that I want to upload. 
and then click on open. Now if you click here on this arrow, you can add a description for installing my new Linux servers. And let's click on import. So if you let this finish, you will automatically automatically be set on your uh, uh, storage resource for your ISOs and your ISOs will be updated also. So here you can see now that Rocky 9.0 ISO is present. So from now on you can now install new virtual machines with your ISO that's been uploaded, uploaded only using your browser. What gives uh, a kind of facility to create your virtual machines if no ISO is present. Let me know in the comment section if you are using another way of adding ISOs to your uh, ISO storage resource. There are different ways to do it, but this is one of the ways that I prefer because you don't have to mount on your operating system that you are using your storage resource. So for people that are, if people want to see some examples on how you can use and manage um, other people to access your resources, uh, let me know and I will make a video about it. So one of the things to use is using self-service, but this is a little bit out of the scope of uh, this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. And there we will install Xen Orchestra from source uh, using the documentation from the Xen Orchestra page. So if you want to know more about uh, different ways how you can install Xen Orchestra to use in your home lab, I have made some videos so you can have a look there. And if you are interested in storage, uh, watch my videos to tutorials uh, about uh, TrueNOS Core. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you hopefully in the next video.